Good morning, friends. It's been a little while. I think the last time we saw each other, I didn't have a beard. Now I've got a beard. Uh, we are in Jay Cook State Park today, uh, and I went out to hike the Oligons Trail. Um, I've already veered well off of the trail and headed down towards the river. This is the uh, St. Louis River running through this park. And it's gorgeous, and I think I may have just found a cool little spot to photograph. Um, I've just got this little still pond over here behind you in front of me uh, with this big boulder sitting in it and there's just these stripes and striations through the rock that I think will make kind of a cool photograph, possibly. Um, we're going to go over there and check it out. Uh, I was expecting the clouds to be a little more broken up than they are so far this morning. Um, it looks like they're starting to clear a little bit, but not quite as quickly as I thought they were going to. But then's the breaks and that's the way the weather goes. You never know what the weather's going to do and you just kind of have to roll with it. So we're going to explore this little section right here around this river uh, and then we'll see about hiking back to the trail I'm actually supposed to be on. But this is a big river with some big rocks and you all know I like some water over rocks. So I'm going to try to limit my time here and then get back to the trail in the woods. All right, let's go see what we can find. <sighs> Gloves make everything harder. <laughs> All right, I found my first composition, and this is a spot in a tree and a reflection I'm going to play with, I think, for a little while, because there's a, there's a few variations of this that I like. Um, I'm going to show you what we are looking at through the old viewfinder right now. Uh, let's see here, boom, here we go. So as you can see, I got this great little rock right here, got this great reflection of this tree in the pond in front of me, and then I got this great, just, I don't know, old, I think it's a pine tree, but it's got no needles on it. So I'm not, I'm not really sure what kind of tree it is, but the scene is kind of great. And what I'm really liking about this particular framing is this little piece of something, something, some sort of a plant. It's just kind of poofed up. Uh, and I like that, that's in my foreground, kind of just sticking into the frame. So everything's kind of pointing in towards this tree a little bit. And then we've got just this kind of gray foreboding sky in the background. Uh, I'm gonna focus stack this one. So I'm gonna focus on the plant here in the foreground. Uh, and then I'm gonna also focus on my rock and then probably again, tree in the background. So three planes of focus for the photograph. Uh, and I'm also going to bracket this for the sky because that sky is really, really bright. Um, I could use a split grad, but I don't want to affect the exposure of that tree and there's no way I can not do that with a split grad. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, an, a bracket, exposure bracket, expose for the sky and then expose for the rest of my scene, including that tree. And then I blend those together and then I should get a nice kind of even exposure throughout the whole thing. So. Let's get going to making this photograph, shall we? Excellent. Now I'm going to change my focus to this tree in the background. And same thing, five shot bracket. that could turn out to be something. <laughs> Let's hope. Uh, I'm gonna play with this reflection a couple of times. There's like some weird abstracty things. I'm actually just kind of digging the reflections in this in this pool right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play in this pond for a little bit. This is fun. All right, well, here's a shot. Uh, this is kind of a fun abstract shot and it's sort of the thing I dig about it. So I've got this reflection of this great tree in this pond in front of me. Uh, and then I've got this one rock in this still pond. Uh, and 
this shot's really abstract because I'm excluding the, the actual tree and I'm only shooting the reflection of the tree and the rock. So what we're looking at this time, rock right there, reflection of tree there, reflection of the rocks back there and the rocks. Uh, I'm gonna crop this little plant out right here. So it'll just be like right across there. Probably shoot, crop this to about a four by three. Um, so you won't see that. So it'll just be these elements here. And it feels sort of upside down. So <laughs> that's kind of what I like about it. I just like this, the character of this tree, especially the reflection of this tree in this pond is just amazing. And I love it. Uh, and I couldn't not take this picture. So I took it, that was it. Uh, ISO 100 F9, uh, about half a second. I'm focused on the rock in front of me. Two second timer. That's done. All right, let's see what else we can find around here. And then maybe I'll actually head back to the trail I'm supposed to hike today. We'll see. Okay, well, a little bit of a precarious scramble down some rocks here to get this shot of this waterfall. Uh, and you may notice these bubbles behind me here. My original thought when looking down on this scene was that these bubbles would make a really cool foreground element shooting back up uh, towards these two waterfalls that are in front of me. Um, but once I got down here, two things occurred to me. One, I can't really get out there to get that shot. Uh, I don't want to risk falling in this river any more than I already am. Uh, it's going to be cold. And two, uh, I think these bubbles make a cool photograph on their own, potentially. Um, it's just a great abstract. These bubbles are foamed really, really white, and this water is very dark. So I think that's just going to be a great contrast. I'll leave it color. You probably won't be able to tell. Uh, but the shot in front of me that I'm looking at right now is this little fall, this little fork in the river that's split off, and it's uh, just shooting around this giant boulder in front of me. So I've set up to do a little long exposure right in front of it, getting the streaks of the bubbles coming towards me. Got a big boulder on the right-hand side of the frame. <coughs> it's kind of curving it in. And then the opposite wall of this river is also curving in, so it's just doing this big bend. Uh, and then at the end, I've got the falls. Big fall on the right-hand side coming down diagonally through my frame. A little tiny fall on the left-hand side just trickling over the edge and then all of the white bubbles in the water just flowing right towards me. Uh, and that's the setup. Uh, pretty simple framing, pretty simple everything. But we're shooting this guy at an F9, ISO 100. Uh, I am shooting with a polarizer to make that dark water really dark. <laughs> uh, and a three-stop neutral density to slow down my shutter speed. And that's giving me a six-second six exposure two second timer and we just let that guy go off. That's it, this one's done. Now I'm just gonna turn around, point my camera down at these bubbles, kind of try to frame something up that's, that looks good and shoot that one. Two shots, one spot. So those are the bubbles that we were looking at. Um, I kind of like the shot. I took it, I took two variations of this shot. I took one just straight, like 40th of a second, freeze the bubbles, nothing's moving, bubbles. Then I threw in a 10 stop and just let them move around and blur around. Um, looking at the back of the camera, I think I kind of like the blurry shot a little better, but I, I don't know. I mean, you, know, you can never tell till you get them home and you look at them uh, on a big screen. Yeah, I think that's us done down here in this little cavern. I think uh, I'll hike back up there, uh, find the trail I'm supposed to be on, and maybe we'll finish this loop and see what we can find in the woods today. Uh, 
That was the original plan. So let's get back to that. What? Oh. Wah, wah. I guess if it's for my safety. Well, that's a bummer. But <sighs> you gotta respect the parks department, don't you? Well, that's all right. It's not the end of the day. We've got the overlook loop back to the trailhead. So we'll head up that way and hike the overlook. See if there's anything to look over. I think no sky. No sky. You keep that guy dead in the middle. All right. Well, we've got ourselves another simple little composition here. Looking out across the river, the opposite bank, there's a stand of pine trees, and then behind it are all the bare birch trees. And you can see the stark white trunks of the birch trees, and then just the soft brown tips of them as they just kind of get finer and finer, the branches get finer and finer as it goes up. So you've just got these kind of bands of colors, green, white, brown, white, brown, white, brown, little spot of green, green. And then there's a single pine tree that's just kind of in the middle of all of it uh, that I like. There's just this little, one little dude just kind of hanging out all by himself. Uh, and that's kind of this, that's the whole composition, really simple, uh, not much to it. It's kind of all about the pattern and the color. She got an ISO 100, F8, 48th of a second, two second timer. Now well, it's done. All right. I'm keep heading back to the car because I don't have any other choice. Well, friends, I think that's going to be a day for us. Uh, short day, but a good day. Uh, the park trail is closed, and you know, you've got to respect that. You got to respect the closures. They're closed for a reason. There's either you know hazardous conditions up ahead, or they're trying to restore uh, and preserve you know a natural habitat. So when you see those trail closed signs, you just got to respect that turn around and head back out. Um, not a complete wash on the day though. I think we got some fun stuff down by the river on a little detour off the trail. Uh, and we'll see how that shot on the over Overlook Ridge came out. But all in all, still a good day. So I have no complaints. Uh, I just wanna take this moment to thank you for coming along with me. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you wanna see more. And tell all your friends, because the more the merrier. And from Jay Cook State Park here in Duluth, Minnesota, so long, and we'll see you next time.